welcome to the Olympic Stadium in Munich for an almost unique occasion here with Germany playing Bayern Munich for the farewell game for Lothar Matthäus, the great one indeed. As you look there at the list of players tonight and you see, yes, if you're not mistaken, the number 10 shirt is to be worn by Diego Maradona, making a special comeback as a salute to Matthäus, his great rival in two World Cups back in 1986 and in 1990. And later, we hope to have a glimpse of another all-time great, Jürgen Klinsmann. Now, Lothar Matthäus will play for Bayern Munich in the second half of this game, but he starts appropriately in his national shirt. A man with a record 146 caps. And there he is, Lothar Matthäus, wearing number 10. Jens Lehmann will be in goal to start with, Marcus Babel and uh, Jens Novotny alongside him. People like Dietmar Hamann and uh, Christian Zieger. And, of course, the attack led by Oliver Bierhoff, with member Chol and Thomas Hessler in there as well. So two extremely strong sides that have been lined up for this occasion. It had been hoped that the likes of David Beckham would be able to come uh, from England, uh, Rivaldo from Brazil, and among those here, of course, uh, Bertie Votes, the former German national team manager. Giovanni Ciacatoni, of course, uh, too. Uh, the two sides just preparing to come out down the tunnel into this fabulous Olympic Stadium which has seen so many great games of course uh, over the recent times and such disappointment here this season when Bayern Munich went out of the European Champions League to Real Madrid at the semi-final stage Real Madrid of course the ultimate victors on Wednesday evening in that final against Valencia Paris well, familiar figures on the Bayern Munich side there's Thomas Linker, Thomas Struntz they will be uh, playing their parts the tall figure of Karsten Janka Paolo Sergio and of course they will on the occasions like this be a number of substitutions with so many famous players wanting to play their part and as I say that uh, Jürgen Klinsmann we will see later uh, during the game Jupp Heynck is another one uh, in the crowd here this evening and there in fact is Jürgen Klinsmann what a great servant to, to football around the world he was uh, playing of course uh, in England uh, in Italy United States but everybody coming here to honor a man who made his debut for his country 20 years ago not quite to the day but not far off against Holland and now at the age of 39 Lothar Matthias has gone away to play for the New York New Jersey Metro Stars but he will of course compete for Germany for the last time during Euro 2000 coming up next month and here he comes Diego Maradona well he may look a little different to the uh, days in which he was starring for Argentina <laughs> one or two little merry quips with him on his way down the tunnel that is a non-alcoholic drink I can assure everybody Maradona well chronicled has had his problems with drink and with drugs but hopefully now on the mend and it's a great tribute to Mateus that people like Maradona should come over from South America, America to honour him this evening. So here they come, Oliver Bierhoff is leading out Germany. Diego Maradona. And a one-off is playing for Bayern Munich this evening. He certainly played the first half of the game. Bierhoff currently one of the world's great strikers. And with 27 international goals from 47 appearances, the man on his right was perhaps the greatest player of all time. Some would contest that, of course. Pelly would be the one voted for by many, many people. Anybody who saw Diego Maradona in the World Cup finals, especially in 1986, will realise what a fantastic talent he was. And here we go. Just a few tricks for the cameraman. Lothar Matthias really is the star of the show, but at this moment, uh, Diego rather wants to be in the spotlight. And, uh, loud applause for him around the Olympic Stadium here in Munich. Matthias will, of course, wear the number 10 shirt, just as Maradona wears it for Bayern Munich.
as always, we have uh, Argentine supporters present. The Argentine flag there to signal the man's return and the glittering career he had. But now the stage is set for the arrival of the great man. What a servant, not only to Bayern Munich, of course, but to German football as a whole. And he definitely says he will retire after Euro 2000, though Unterhaki, one of the regional German sides have tried to persuade him to join them instead he's gone over to New York he's made the decision to live there and to play his football there and now he prepares to come out into this stadium where he has played for so much of his career he did of course move to Inter Milan in the uh, Italian League and now he's got the message and there will be a rapturous reception for one of the all-time greats, Lothar Mateus. His highlight was naturally leading Germany to victory in the 1990 World Cup final in Rome. <laughs> a nice moment for the officials too, and a particular hug and welcome for Diego Maradona. man who holds the record for the number of caps won by any outfield player in world football 146 and he'll be hoping he can go past the 150 mark at Euro 2000 it was a very emotional farewell for him when he played his last game for the club in the Champions League here against Real Madrid the side were winners that evening by four goals to one somewhat ironic that uh, only two months later they were to be beaten by the same club. Here is the latest memento to be presented to him. Thanks, words from Franz Beckenbauer, an all-time great of German football, president of Bayern Munich. Well, he's had a number of gifts. He had a painting awarded to him uh, before the match against Real Madrid. And I've no doubt there are many more gifts coming his way too after what will be his farewell appearance for his country very shortly. Well, the game uh, eventually will kick off, I do assure you. <laughs> Hello, the look-alike. <laughs> oh, a very nice touch. <laughs> the game can almost get underway, everybody enjoying the joke here. Yeah. Big crowd in the Olympic Stadium in Munich. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He prepares to say how he designed to his many, many admirers. It'll be interesting to see the way the game is played, although it's, of course, uh, something like a testimonial match. Olympia likes to lose a game and the approach of the players to see just uh, how they go into this one will indeed be interesting. It's not the first time, by the way, that a national side has uh, met a club side on behalf of a player. This is the ninth time, the ninth Jubilee match between a Bundesliga club and Germany. The first was back in 1978 when Germany met to Cologne for Wolfgang Weber. Scored a goal in the 1966 World Cup final. You're looking now at a man who played a significant role as Argentina won the World Cup in uh, 1986 in Mexico. And at the man who lifted the trophy aloft, he was remade trophy in 1990. So we're away with Maradona, predictably getting the first touch of the football. A little more rotund than when he used to play for his country before. He played uh, against Mateus in the Serie A days. He was down at Napoli. Little uh, flick of the heel from uh, Yanke. They'll give Mateus the ball as often as possible, I'm sure. Maybe we'll see him figuring on the score sheet this evening. I did have the privilege of seeing his last international goal, which was scored in the Confederations Cup for Germany in uh, Mexico last summer. He was on the winning side against New Zealand. 
it's out and then uh, edge of the area as we look again at uh, Diego Maradona he seems to like that at the moment quite how long he will last uh, is anybody's guess laid back by Sami Pufour to the goalkeeper lovely ball down the line in the first uh, moment of promise here for Bayern Munich you can't call uh, one team a home team and the other team away. Marcus Pavel came over there. Both will be Jens Lehmann. And no doubt we will see uh, Oliver Kahn later. Chol. I seem very strange for him playing against Bayern Munich. As indeed uh, people like uh, Matthias and Marcus Babel against their club side. And he'll bring the house down if he scores a goal. May have to be a penalty kick. Thomas Struntz with the distinctive blonde hair. The Maradona with that sweet left foot of his, but it's too far for Janka. And a free kick given. The uh, officials, uh, well, also they're not entering into the spirit of it, but uh, playing the game as they should do, awarding free kicks. This one was for offside, despite Maradona's through ball there. It was uh, just putting uh, Janka offside. Popped out this time, though. As you can see, a few empty spaces here at the Olympic Stadium, but they've seen a lot of football here recently. And, of course, Bayern Munich clinching the Bundesliga Championship just over a week ago when they pipped Bayer Leverkusen at the post. Mehmet Scholl with the corner kick for the German national team. It comes uh, off Kufur. Moves back in and out for the goal kick. Because the German uh, national coach is the uh, one who's kept faith, of course, with Matthias. So many, many German managers have done. People like Newton Gerval, and he was uh, in charge for a good long time, of course. Bertie votes himself, Franz Beckenbauer. Marcus Babel, who's moving to the English Premier League with Liverpool next season. Steady pace, no point in rushing about too much. Nice evening in Munich as Babel strokes the ball forward. A bit longer that time. Thomas Hesler. Well, Maradona, whatever uh, you say, has made his mark on the international game. He was, without question, the player who most influenced uh, the 80s. for Janke to have a little tilt here, Babbles uh, across. It's in play, and then Christian Ziga switches it. Mateus hits one of those long raking passes which have always been his trademark. That plus his speed. Speed of action, speed of thought. Too much speed there, and do we see play begin again with uh, Thomas Hessler? Seen him for a year or two, was uh, a regular member of the German national side for so long, and then moved down the league a little with the Karlsruhe. Struts forward with the left foot. 
He's strutting his stuff. And they want to see a few fancy flicks from him. Now they got one, a little back heel for Struntz. The never lose ability. Taken again by Hester. Then on by Sebastian Geisler. Newcomer to the international scene. They made his debut only three months ago against Holland. It will feature at Euro 2000. Struntz. Janke, space opening up down that right hand side. Maradona, listen at the roar that goes up whenever he finds himself in possession. He may well have created a goal, he should have done. Struntz tried to lay it across for Janke, could have had a go for goal himself. As he did that, Lehman had uh, come out to cut out the cross. Lovely ball from Maradona. Strunt's onside, no question about that. I think it was Babel who was playing him onside. The clearance effected. The first touch of uh, delightful control from Maradona that we've seen. Even Mateus applauded him. Brought out uh, by Michael Ballack and then Hessler. much to the fore in these early moments of the game and a chance maybe this time for the national side as it's whipped back across the face of the uh, Bayern Munich goal and Paolo Sergio will take it forward <laughs> a slip by Torsten Fink the playing surface should be pretty good Flick through here, and now Yanker is goal side of the defender, but now uh, we see the, uh, the pace getting Matthias out of trouble, as it has done so many times over the years. A uh, little word, as Otmar Hitzfeld, the Bayern Munich coach, has a word or two to say about it. They've not actually managed to replace uh, Matthias. He played uh, in the Champions League this season right through to the quarter-final stage. But when he left, uh, they had a bit of a problem there. Jens Jeremis slotted in a sweeper that uh, made a mistake against uh, Real Madrid, which turned out to be critical in their exit from the competition. And Jeremis, unfortunately, then went and got himself injured in the second leg. So they're still looking for the natural replacement to Lothar Mateus. Lovely ball, ping down that right-hand touchline, and Maradon is getting forward. Hopefully to position, it's Janka, and that's the first of the night. I suspect we're going to see a few more. But Karsten Janka only too happy to score the first of the evening, and as a Bayern Munich player, Diego Maradona is only too happy to join in the celebrations. Huge, huge gaps in the Bayern Munich defence, and Janka, his last goal came against Real Madrid in the Champions League semi-final, gives us the first goal of the night. And we have that very distinctive way of celebration here in the stadium with the announcer shouting out the first name, Carsten, and the hand fans then shouting out the second name, Janka. Ten minutes. 1 0 Bayern Munich, so the club side lead the national side. That's exactly what they like here. Now then, Mateus venturing forward. I've seen him do that on so many, many occasions to good effect. Bierhoff wide, just to be kept in by Geisler. Well, it's a truly superb stadium. Very, very distinctive indeed. And it dominates the skyline as you fly into the city of Munich. He's thinking more of the city of New York now. The team has actually struggled uh, in the, uh, the, league, uh, the start of the season. Oh, 
Well, he looks to be enjoying himself, doesn't he, the little fella? There we go, all left foot. Well, there might be a gap at the back here. Yankis clearly reveling in the uh, situation, and he might have another pop at goal here as well, Karsten Yanka. Yeah, a little bit short, the uh, reverse ball. Uh, Tarnat. Uh, one next. Uh, they love that little back flick. Here he goes again. Eat. Box of tricks, isn't he? But, uh, dispossessed on this occasion by Tarnat. Well, he's value for money. Now the break could be on. And the German national side, which has not been in the best of form uh, recently, looking to Thomas Hessler. Shot. Nothing uh, harried about this movement, but Mehmet Scholl. He's tackled uh, by Sami Kufur, the Ghanaian, as we look once more at uh, Maradona. Here it comes off the chest, off the outside of the left boot. And he it too. Well, this is a play for him at some stage a few years ago. Maybe not now. was a guest, by the way, in Paris on Wednesday at the Stade de France uh, when Real Madrid beat Valencia 3-0 in the highlight of the European uh, Cup season. Hessler, the uh, corner is covered, but he can have another go. Thomas Hessler. He's covered on this occasion by uh, Novotny. Hessler. Shot. Takes, measures the ball across the, to the penalty area. As they are trying to kid them, right, left. Lovely possession football from Thomas Hessler. Cross from Dysler. Long range effort from Mehmet Scholl. Well, by Ben Breyer, the uh, goalkeeper for Bayern Munich, who has uh, taken over in this first half. Uh, Oliver Kahn likely to uh, appear a little later in the match, one imagines. Sergio Maradona three times involved already just failed to clip it in past Babel well, I just have to apologize to Yanka for the tackle it's lovely to see Maradona with his three touches of the ball in quick succession there He's squeezed away the latest pass for Fink Now scored a last-minute goal against Glasgow Rangers in the Champions League up at Ibrox. And a kick. Well, he's had his problems uh, rehabilitating in Cuba recently. But, uh, that's a, a physical whack he's just had there. It's more of a problem to him. Too high this time. Well, it's always a different air about any sort of testimonial match. Uh, the game played at a slacker pace, I suppose, really. Yeah, das gehen wir mal weiter. Lothar hat das immer gesagt. Er war der strengste und der erste Profi-Trainer von Lothar Matthäus. Würden Sie das so stehen lassen, Jupankis? Ja, der erste, das ist schon richtig, aber der strengste, das weiß ich nicht. Lothar, 
Among the so the we may well see later on Erfahrung the German uh, side. Im, Im internationalen Fußballgeschäft und nachher auf den Darius ganzen Stationen Bush hat er sich ja erstmal gemerkt, uh, was es heißt, so die Teams zu haben und beziehungsweise sich in eine Gruppe einzufügen, was er natürlich... Tip through this time, there might be an opportunity for Bierhoff to set something up. Into the area he goes. Lovely layback for Scholl. Well covered on that occasion. Three defenders in the way, including uh, Sami Kufur there at the heart of the defence, uh, along with uh, Michael Weisinger. Well, Matthias hasn't uh, broken into a sweat as yet, nor has he needed to do. That's an excellent tackle to win the ball off Haman. Maradona keen for the ball. It's actually a giveaway as it turns out. So Scholl again. Well, he's surely not going to get penalties for that. Might do later in the match if Mateus has a chance of being in there. Hessler. Germany looking to get back level as Christian Sieger hits the ball into the Bayern Munich penalty area. Uh, when they break here, they generally look to Maradona to play that telling pass. It's a little back heel once more. Fouls on Fink. Well, every national manager is uh, under pressure to get results, and with the Euro 2000 uh, only two weeks away, Germany's Eric Riebeck is no exception, and of course, uh, Germany have matches against uh, Romania, England and Portugal. Tennis uh, will surely be involved in those. For Bayern Munich. The national team's record recently, uh, the last match resulted in a one-all draw against Switzerland. Before that, it was a similar result against Croatia. Defeats by Holland in February, so they've not actually won a match this year. Well, they're Paolo Sergio. And the last victory as a national side came against Norway, thanks to a Mamet Scholl goal last November. Orchestrating things there is uh, Michael Balak. Matthias will look to be forward in this move. He's up there, edge of the area now. So they'll try and pick him out if there's going to be a shot on goal. Hesler is. Uh, Created an opening for himself, and Matthias is a little disappointed actually. Maybe Hesley was trying to play him in. But he went for the option of a shot himself and killed it well off the mark. Hesley, one of the stars uh, back in 1990 with that World Cup triumph in Italy against Argentina. Got revenge for 1986. Still a late goal from uh, Andreas Bremer. to Mateus, and how many times have we seen that over the years? Marcus Babel himself, a regular fixture in the German national side. Did a good work here until that uh, ball goes astray. Here it is again, the stadium that... Uh, Staged the European Cup final only three years ago when Borussia Dortmund triumphed against Juventus. And it's Bayern Munich themselves now in this rather new outfit with Maradona. Not precise enough with that one. So Bayern Munich still a goal ahead, thanks to Karsten Janke, the man in the centre of your picture there now. Picked up by Jens Lehmann, the 
Here's the Dortmund goalkeeper. Switch clubs in the English Premier League a year ago, joining uh, Liverpool from Newcastle United. Uh, one Rude Hullet had signed him. A good uh, chest control from uh, Sami Kufour, able to knock that ball back to his keeper, Drea. Maradona's involved in the thick of things once more, and the ball is laid across here. Paolo Sergio, given offside. Sergio's just enjoyed his first season uh, with Bayern Munich after his move from Roma for £5 million and scored quite a number of goals as well this season. One I particularly remember against Real Madrid in Madrid. As Hessler links things up again. Oh, but he was looking, I think, for Babel there and played it straight to Paolo Sergio. Yanke now. Touch for Maradona. A clip through. But once more, it's met by Luca Mateus. Coming toward this time, Hamar. There's a bit more potency about this look, uh, about this attack, and uh, there might be just something here as the ball is laid back by Deisler. Hassan Salihamidzic. So Janka's got the one goal. But Maradona's had most applause so far, I think. <laughs> Stefan Effenberg uh, at the end of the line, closest to the camera. What a wonderful season he's had, and uh, Jurgen Klinsmann next to him. Effenberg uh, was perhaps more upset than anybody when Bayern Munich went out of the Champions League. Tyus is still strolling. He'll be strolling in Central Park in New York, no doubt, uh, having moved across there with his family. Here's Struntz, goes for goal. Coming back off the chest of Dreyer. Uh, Lehman, rather, by mistake, Jens Lehman getting down with the ball, coming away off his chest. Lehman has twice actually taken over the national jersey from Oliver Kahn. But, uh, Kahn is the uh, number one at the moment. Babel. I think can't uh, find a colleague. So the attack continues down this right-hand side with Balak, one of the newer additions to the German squad in the uh, last 18 months. Sergio the Brazilian well I'm not quite sure what he was attempting to do there but that was a giveaway and the shot beaten away by the fist of Bernd Dreyer by Hassler Thomas Hassler coming in from the left and uh, not uh, the worst effort you've ever seen it went past Strunz and a very strange stop indeed by Bernd Dreyer <laughs> Interesting and teasing. Only just keeping the ball in play. And Sami Kufu will cut this one out with ease. I don't think anybody will ever forget those pictures of Kufu at the end of last year's European Cup final against Manchester United, where he was absolutely inconsolable. glad of a rest after 45 minutes exertions having been out of the game for so long this is Hessler super strike what a goal from Thomas Hessler Germany a level well that was a magnificent strike by any standard and Thomas Hessler brings Germany level with a quality goal on 26 minutes what a lovely
lovely goal it was, and he uh, made it all himself, really, with vision. Just outside the D, creates the space for the gap by turning inside Strunz, and the shot, much too hot for Bernd Dreyer, inside his left hand upright, and the scores are level again. I wonder what Diego's got to say about it to Paolo Sergio. One speaks Spanish, by the way, the other Portuguese. Thomas Hesler there has illuminated the occasion with a delightful goal. Here's Sam, uh, Salihamidzic. And uh, does well to stop the ball going dead. It would have been a goal kick because the last touch was off Salihamidzic, the little Bosnian. Well, German national pride restored by the equalising goal. Geisler, he's come a long way here. Maradona well heading was uh, never quite his strong point Struz Alessio Maradona's moving away to his right Yanka will try and refine power Sergio with the flick easily covered at the back by Novotny He'll be a key player for Germany at Euro 2000 we buy a Leverkusen center back by the tail, so he hasn't figured too far in the last few minutes, but having a bit of a breather. Hessler, he has. His dribbling skills nearly got him through. There might still be an opening here. And uh, that's the face of the goal, but Ben Dreyer able to take it from that trip cross from Dessler. Before now. The mining across the back before Maradona is given a touch of the ball. I don't think Balak's going to uh, get too close to him. The crowd have come to see an entertaining match and they want to see a few goals and uh, I think there's every chance of there being a few tonight. 1-1 at the moment. strike a shot it's Babble though who'll be joining him at Anfield and playing for Liverpool shortly before gets his head in the way of this one some remarkable uh, statistics uh, by the way about uh, Matthias he was born in 1961 I told you he made his debut for his country in 1980 uh, against Holland he actually began his professional career a year before that with Borussia Mönchengladbach. This one's going to be flicked away off the head of Salihamidzic. Esler might have another go now. He's really fancying it in off the post. Well, Dreher just did enough there. Hessler's clearly got his shooting boots on tonight. And having treated us to one spectacular three... Almost four minutes ago, he goes for goal again, and that's tipped onto the bar. Save. That's how close it was to being number two for Thomas Hessler. Well, he's entertaining as much as anybody. This is Babel. Hamar. Useful exercise for Haman and Babel. In mind uh, that they will be playing in that Premier League side in unison next season. Easily met by 
the tents. Keen to link in again. He's going to get forward here. This might bring the house down. Uh, not quite. He just stopped running there. But, uh, that was a good laugh on his face. Well, the Yanka might be interested in a cross ball here. Not going to come just yet. Alessalia Midzic. Back from Fink. from uh, Maradona there he is again laying the ball back they want to see him going forward with it and I'm sure that they will enjoy the sight of the slightly younger and fitter man Jürgen Klinsmann in the second half but uh, Haman here can, with a springboard to a move for a second goal that might just be a free kick and uh, has got a wry smile on his face as though he knows what might be happening here Free kick in an excellent position for a shot at goal. Just five yards outside the penalty area. Uh, they may well try and line him up at some stage of the evening. Is, uh, is this the moment for him? Or will others take on the responsibility? It's uh, looking that way at the moment. Hessler's uh, certainly looking interested in this. Straight into the walls, it turns out. From uh, Christian Zieger, who plays in the Premier League at Middlesbrough these days. Stood his ground, the ball was just stabbed against his ankles by uh, Sebastian Deisler. I don't think Matthias is going to play the full 90 minutes, uh, uh, bring him off just before the end as he can uh, milk the applause here in the end. Uh, still keen to be involved with the game, just passing him by for the moment. Got through 33 minutes. Confronted by Paolo Sergio. Switch cross field. And Bala. Hessler. Man wide. Sergio this time. What me says? Oh, well, Sergio had that spell in the Italian football, but originally coming from the Corinthians club in Brazil. Just one of those behind the ball here now. With just more than ten minutes left in this first half. A two man wall. Two first clearance, perfect for Maradona. They look up and they survey the scene and switch the play cleverly. There might be an opening this time. Fink is the man charging through the middle. Here he comes now. It's timid for the moment until it reaches Yanka. Eventually it all peters out rather tamely. And, uh, here they come once more with Mehmet Shaw. Gifted player. Nicely. Shaw once again. Scored round well about uh, ten goals this season, Mehmet Shaw. And it's Germany looking for a leading goal now. And although the ball has crossed the line from the head of Oliver Bierhoff, 
I think you'll find that a flag has been raised. And uh, Mark Bernd Drabi really, the ball just trickled across the line after he got a hand to uh, the Beerhoff header, but I think the decision was a correct one. We might just lift Germany a little bit now. Nice. Combines with Beerhoff. Mateus. A free kick this time, nor did he ask for one. As there's one it again. Sieger now. Christian Sieger has scored a hat trick for his uh, country against Northern Ireland in a European qualifying game. It's Germany looking for the lead, having been behind for so long. Basically cleared by Kufur. a family occasion the uh, the fan clan are all here tonight <laughs> provided the brightest moment of the game so far really scoreline 1-1 one, one. Karsten Janker getting a goal on 10 minutes for Bayern Munich and then that man there Thomas Hessler with a cracking reply to make it one all on 26 minutes just eight more minutes left in this first half in the Olympic Stadium in Munich. As Mamet Scholl tries to orchestrate a move and he's into the area, is Scholl, and he might slip this one through. Good stop. Scholl and Bierhoff combining instinctively and well. Goalkeeper Bert Dreyer able to make the save. Scholl scored in both games against Real Madrid in the quarterfinals. There's Maradona, that famous little shuffle of his, and the release of the ball to Thomas Struntz. Go <laughs> forward this time, and uh, Babel's trying to cut out to Paolo Sergio, and he did that successfully, and the referee said there's nothing wrong with that challenge, so on we go. Well, Paolo Sergio is going to complain too much on this occasion. Pavel's got a bang on the head, though. No substitutions as yet. Presumably those will start happening around about to half time. Nicely. Aman. To the area where the goalkeeper reads the bounce of it right, and Eric Rubek is uh, very animated at the moment on that touch line. That's some effort from his side. At least their level, they were behind uh, uh, quite a while. And Maradon. Side young. Bierhoff had to retreat to the halfway line to take part in this move, continued there by Hessler. Movement being made up the left-hand side by Zieger. Too much movement. Yeah. All the way to an offside position as we look once more at uh, the consummate skills of Diego Maradona. I really do feel he should have uh, stayed in the game a little longer. But, uh, there are many, many people with treasured memories of the Argentinian start. Just missed out on the selection for the 1982 World uh, Cup, the 1978 World Cup prize, which Argentina won. Well, Salih Midzic is the first player coming off. Uh, whether he's just got a little pull, it's just possible. And uh, he's uh, going to be replaced by Andrew Sincala, a 20 year old midfield player. All players getting hate getting injured in uh, this sort of a game. It did just look there as though Hassan Salihamidzic had pulled up just a little slightly. Just feeling his hamstrings. 
1-1 it is between Bayern Munich and uh, the German national side. The crowd uh, desperate for Maradona to get a bit of goal map action in these closing moments of the half. I don't think Bayern Munich are going to let him do that, just for the occasion. It's all about him and not Maradona, really. Just gives you a clue as to how many people are in this Olympic Stadium. I think Beerhoff can keep uh, uh, not Beerhoff. I don't think uh, that ball could be uh, kept in by Dysler. Just 20 years of age, a uh, former Borussia Munchen Gladbach man who's lost one and a half million pounds to take to Hertha Berlin. Had a, an exceptionally good first stab at the Champions League. Maradona there. Letting him have the ball. <laughs> I think there's something uh, sinister going on out there. You suspect that if Maradona can trot into the opposition penalty area, he'll have a goal scoring chance. <laughs> All jolly good pals. Aman and uh, Janka. And I wondered what on earth's going on at the other end, and so was I for a moment. Nothing as it turned out. A thumbs up from Diego, and I'm pretty sure that they were trying to manoeuvre him into position. There weren't too many telling challenges on him, were there? But Mamet Shaw just nicked it away in the end. Well, is there one more Maradona contribution from this half? Just bought there, and the crowd are booing Marcus Babel, stopping Maradona getting through. This is lovely. Looks like they're going to uh, substitute him. Well, he's found the going tough, but he's got through the best part of the first half, and I think the crowd here are just appreciative of the appearance of one of the all-time greats. Mateus will come to shake his hand to say thank you. Nice moment here between two geniuses of the game and a kiss and a touch of the turf in the Olympic Stadium Munich and that may be the last time you see Diego Maradona playing in a game like this. This one also goes over to pay his respects. Oh, they still love him. Just to a calm play, but he's probably saying to everybody tonight, I'm uh, OK, I'm on the way back, I may never play professionally again, but I uh, can get on with the rest of his life now, Diego Maradona, and perhaps with all his troubles behind him. <laughs> and we have the enjoyed godlike status in Argentina around the time of his peak and uh, there's a mutual respect there. <laughs> a lovely family shot there. Uh, as Diego Maradona goes to the dressing room and put it there first. Looks like it's half time here in the Olympic Stadium. They had a couple of goals, the first of them struck for the home side, you can call them on the top side by Munich, by Karsten Janka. The equaliser coming from uh, Thomas Hessler, a super strike it was as well. So in this uh, Lothar Matthias farewell game here in Munich, half time score is by Munich 1, Germany 1. Munich for the second half. 
of this game between Bayern Munich and the German national side. And Lothar Matthäus first out there to acknowledge the crowd. Having changed now from the German national strip into that of his club side. Well, a night of entertainment for the fans, not just for what's happening on the football pitch. Well, there will be a number of substitutions, I'm sure, during the course of the game. And Darius Bush is already out there, number 15. Here he is now. For the German team, and number 21, Karsten Ramelow. I'm sure we'll have a, a circuit of substitutions as the night goes on. Well, remember, Matthias now plays for Bayern Munich, but not for Germany. You will see him in the German national colours again in uh, Holland and in Belgium. Still, he waits for a touch of the action. And the names of people like Klinsmann and Matthias, going back, of course, further, people like Gerd Muller, so synonymous with this great team. And here's a chance straight away for Bayern Munich. Side netting. It would have been 2-1, they should have restored their advantage. Touch through there by uh, Torsten Fink. And Tana had the opportunity to decide to score the one goal last season. Seven is Owen Hargreaves, a new name to many. He's going to run out in this uh, the match here, which is to say goodbye to a great player, but uh, often on occasions like this, you welcome in uh, a new player who may well go on to become uh, a great of the future. I'm sure you'll know in Hargreaves, will be very, very keen to impress. It is the club side who are first to the fore in this half, getting their act together much more, more quickly. Yes. Spectacular, unproductive. <laughs> the joke's on you. Aston Yanka. That's their one game in England for Luton Town. And the manager at the time, David Pleat, chose not to sign him. And he went away uh, to become a star in the Bundesliga. Actually born in the old East Germany, Karsten Janke. And Strunt picks himself up and Matthias dribbles the ball on. Trump's the 32-year-old now, from, signed from Stuttgart for £2.2 .2 million, pounds, a winner of the UEFA Cup a few years ago. So, ball to stretch Hargreaves. Break led by Hessler, he really is turning on a show tonight. Very, very keen to impress the national team boss that he's still up for it. Ready for another European Championship appearance, maybe. Headed away by Struntz, and there was a foul on him. <laughs> also on is Ulf Kirsten. Just overdoing it a little bit this time, Ramelov. To, uh, tried to Marco Bode, yet another substitute. Who's arrived for the second 45 minutes? Scholl instigating this move, continued by Hessler. Flicked into 
tackle almost into the area, just didn't get through. play the ball out and he's trying to do so again now and he's coming back his way once more it really has been played at walking pace at the moment 1-1 the score remember that early strike from Kastanjanka uh, Bayern Munich uh, cancelled out the, the equalising goal Not everybody in the stadium something the equalising goal which was uh, struck by Thomas Hessler, who has been the outstanding player of the game so far. Now then, Hargreaves. Once it comes, Janka a touch. This might well be goal number two. It might also be a penalty. Well, the referee says nothing. Kept his whistle in his hand. Rather surprisingly, I thought, there. <laughs> Sally Hamidzic, of course, has gone off. What looked like a very minor injury, really. So one that he was not worth taking the risk with. So there he is now in the colours of his club, rather than the colours of his country. Touchline now as Scholl touches it infield for Hessler. Inevitably supported by Babel. We'll just can see how he goes on as Gerard Houllier as his coach at Anfield. Hessler's won the uh, free kick this time. Well, you would expect more goals. These sort of occasions are generally illuminated uh, by a few of those. But there might be one this time. Shots and uh, easily held. Vessels has uh, come out as yet another substitution. One that nobody was expecting because he wasn't uh, even listed. But he's a young goalkeeper and has uh, had a real first team opportunity and recently was named on the bench. Here is Schall into the area and it's uh, across the face of goal before Kirsten could get in. years of age, the third or even fourth choice goalkeeper. <laughs> On the outside of the boot, it's released for Bode, but Vessels is able to come and gather. Purpose there. Ball spins away off the uh, back of Darius Vush. And a shot. He looks interested at the moment. Boda. Struts is coming over to cover. Ball across. Eventually nicked in. Ziga. His night, his big night, really wants to enjoy it, and uh, he'll do that. There have been so many thousands of words spun about Lothar Mateus over the years. That's uh, George Putin's come out for the second half as well, and, and the German goal. Well, no point in bringing players for a match like this and uh, not giving them a run. Ramelov. Babu. Right 
right boot of Ramelov dispatches it way, way over the top there. There's uh, Rudy Fuller, there's Summer, two great names yet again. There are so many here, it's uh, hard picking them all out in the crowd. And no doubt Boris Becker's in there somewhere as well, who's just actually been elected to the board of Bayern Munich. Back by Paolo Sergio. might just be on it well, a nice touch which you've probably spotted is that uh, oops just before uh, just as the shot goes in that uh, most of the Bayern Munich players just to confuse commentators are wearing number 10 well, a tribute to Lothar Mateus an unusual one I must say I thought my eyes were deceiving me when I spotted about four number 10s out there or even more than that See strikes in your shot, he's wearing 10. There he is now. Struts uh, ambitiously forward. Paolo Sergio. He's also wearing 10. He might have a go at goal here, the Brazilian. It's Struts for a shout for offside. No, says the uh, linesman. There's a header coming in, and that's a disappointing finish, really. Should have uh, produced a goal. He definitely was wearing 10. Distinctive style of his. Yanker into the area. We'll have a corner kick out of this. Not too many of those either. take the lead here from this corner kick and uh, regain the advantage that was given them by Karsten Janka early in the game. Drifted in and the uh, goalkeeper refuses him that option. And a decent enough catch. Of course the instincts of these players are to play as game as they normally do but uh, there's nothing at stake of course this evening so that fact dictates the fact that they don't do tend to stroll through the match a little bit and just look for little breaks little sharp movements To those European Championships. It's one last chance for him to stamp his name in a major competition. Bush has slipped it here. Kessler, who scored that spanking goal in the first half, creating space now for a chip, but uh, that will disappoint him as much as it will a national manager. <laughs> a little look from uh, Mateus. He's just about won everything. He's won uh, seven Bundesliga championships, if you include this season. And, of course, he was a member of the Bayern Munich side for a long time before moving to the United States. He won the Cup on a couple of occasions, the UEFA Cup. There's Bode. And, of course, Matthias, a former World and European Footballer of the Year. There's plenty of movement down on the touchline at the moment. 
and uh, it's because Diego Maradona is uh, about to take a seat in the stand for the remainder of this match. And it got changed, but he entertained the crowd in the first 45 minutes, and his daughter was delighted to see him uh, out in action again, and he's happy to oblige with the odd autograph. Something that will never... to have uh, played his part on the night. And Tom got through it all OK. They're Rudy Fuller. Taking the hand, two great strikers. There's Summer. And they can relax with the rest now and just see how the game unfolds. Surely they'll conjure up a situation for Mateus' penalty. Depends how seriously they are taking it. And it's 1 1 at the moment. <laughs> the other thing, of course, about those who are to be involved in Euro 2000, nobody wants to pick up an injury. So nobody's going to be diving in too hard in the uh, tackles at the moment. One more free kick from for the count. Lofa Superstar. Signing autographs. A lot more substitutions taking place. And Paolo Sergio to be replaced by another legend. Hence the tumultuous welcome for Jurgen Klinsmann. Very strange years ago, Mateus said that the biggest mistake he ever made in his life was his public row with Jurgen Klinsmann and Berti Votes. He said his mistake is to play that through the press and. Uh, but they were old enough to have sat down and talked about it one another personally, but, uh, well, everybody makes mistakes, but it would appear now that uh, Klinsman and Matthias are uh, singing from the same hip sheet. And there is Jürgen Klinsman. Well, if he was uh, in behind Novotny there, he was a scorer. Just didn't get through to him. Uh, Darius Wusch. One of the old East German uh, contingent. From, uh, Petha Berlin. Ramelov. Whoops. <laughs> very, very nervous goalkeeping indeed. Mitchell has moved forward promisingly. Nipped in the bud again. Tarnat. Tinsman will be through the middle once more, hoping to be on the end of a cross. It might come his way this time. It's first of all to Yanka, though. And a smashing shot, but smashing too high. And uh, Tinsman disappointed the ball, did not come his way again. Well, I've got plenty to say now. Is having a go there, you can't blame him for that. Uh, just as Hessler had a go soon after he'd scored in the first half. All eyes on Klinsman, formerly of Monaco and Inter Milan, of course. Tottenham Hotspur. <laughs> Still, the camera's focused as much on events off the field as on it. if he fancied going back out for another ten minutes. Order. Bush. Oh, lovely ball in here. This must be an opening, surely. Oh, so it is made. Substitute goalkeeper. Did well there, Vessels. It looked a certain goal. 
Russell's having the clearance only as far as Hessler now. Really, he's been played at walking pace. Babel. Preston in the middle. Cross has to be good for him, though. It's too long. That's the sounding as the uh, kick is given against number 18 there. And the uh, young international Sebastian Dyson. 25 minutes left and uh, the word is that Luther Mateus is actually going to come off with six minutes to go. I'm not quite sure why six, but it must have some significance. played with a smile permanently on his face this evening but for once he grimaces as he gets up and uh, now we do see Klinsman in the area and a looped ball across and it's going all over the place at the moment before Ramelov hacks it out Torsten Fink is one of those in there too They look as though they might just be offside here, but the referee doesn't seem intent on blowing the whistle, and they don't seem intent on scoring a goal. Ramelov able to clear this time. It was uh, Mateus who started things off there with the ball inside the penalty area. Klinsman looping it across. Then it was cut back in by Fink, hacked away by Ramelov. And Mateus coming in, he just wants that one goal. He can go home then. Go to New York. Is now, and it's almost in, is it? To the uh, Dustin Yanka juggling, and it's over the top. And the the target, and uh, he's a little stunned by that, I think. <laughs> well, you've been out of the game for a couple of years, it all happens so quickly. You've done a night like this, probably. Marcus Bell thinks it's a Wednesday. Probably. Uh, Klinsman probably just realising he's well out of the game at the moment as he ducked his head in there against Romolov. <laughs> and send a little the bill when the dental repairs necessary. The Vop. Two players, the Vop one, making space down the right. Kessler, well, he's going to have a flashing goal again there. He's bought, but he was illegally bought, so it's a free kick for Germany. Still it's 1-1, 22 minutes remaining, we're halfway through the second half. Everybody's having a jolly good time of it out there. And the fans would probably like to see another goal or two. Foul, I think, uh, for Hargreaves. He's allowed this free kick for Germany. Hessler's uh, having a run at it and striking it well. Fisted away by Vessels. And we're to Novotny now, a big, imposing figure. Through the middle, Klinsman. To pull a little bit wide. And cross in is uh, met by the German defence. Whoops, uh, a bit of miscontrol as well from Fink. Kufur is full. Lost count of the substitutions, but uh, Paolo Sergio for one has gone off in this half. Sally Midzic went off in the first half. It's almost as though they're trying to tee them up, and uh, when they do, they hit the shots over the top, like that one. Well, he certainly has broken sweat this evening, Thomas Hessler. 
Thank you. All Germans for the services of Luca Hattes. An amazing record, 146 caps. And he had an astonishing uh, record too in the European club competitions with uh, 101 appearances. And then now, but surely, Kirsten just uh, went too far away from goal. Flicked away uh, by Struntz. Good foot, stroking it down the line. This is a nice looking build up. Tinsman was bullied by Boda there to conceding possession. There goes Wusch with Hessler, able to run at the opposition this time. Germany seeking to go in front for the first time on the night. They were a goal behind when Karsten Janka scored. A level when uh, Hessler equalised. Not even Klinsmann has been able to uh, get on the mark just yet, despite the chances that have offered themselves. This is a good thing, and the doors are telling the down what's going on out there. It's wonderful the camaraderie that exists in international football and the obviously mutual respect between the likes of Maradona and uh, Mateus, but friends off the field too. Those two World Cup fans really brought them together, I suppose. Now then Klinsman's offside. Countdown will start soon for Mateus going off. 72 minutes played, and the word is he'll come off on 84 minutes. So 12 more minutes left for him to play his part here in the Olympic Stadium in Munich, which must have so many, many memories for him. The only outfield player to have appeared in five World Cup finals, 25 appearances in all in World Cup final matches. On his 100th cap against the United States of America almost seven years ago, and he's still playing for his country. An astonishing record of consistency. Then Ramallah went stride forward. Find Mehmet Scholl at his side. Hessler, Scholl. There's a bit of urgency about this move. Didn't get it past Kufour. So Scholl tries it again. Good looking ball. Oh, it's just run dead. Sometimes it's harder when they're trying to play a game at a sort of testimonial phase. It's harder to build up a rhythm, and that's the way it's uh, turning out tonight. So Rebeck's side is still level with uh, Itzfeld's side. Trump has uh, been deployed as a centre-back for much of this evening. Often a right-sided player. Well, most testimonials have plenty of goals, but only two so far tonight. And you're running. Oh, plenty of stopping by the goalkeeper as well. <laughs> they did their best for him. <laughs> so, Matthias' chip ball there. And the goalkeeper stood back. But, uh, blinding effort over the top. Well, the one thing is they don't want him to... Re Reduce it to an element of farce, of course, but the other, uh, the other token, they do want to see a few goals for the for the fans. Strunk steps in at the precise moment to launch another Bayern Munich raid. Again, Strunk, who's been out uh, for a good deal of this season with injury, offside Klinsmann, the crowd not happy. And Nettie found was the one on top of the goal. That's when it doesn't matter, is it? He's 
Jessica looks as, uh, just about as lean as in his playing days. Back by Hull. Shaw. He has played well, Mehmet Shaw. He's had a very good season. Rush with the cross. Well, the crowd trying to lift everybody's spirits here. The chanting and the singing intensifying. So Maradona himself looks on and wonders if he might have had a goal in the first half. Germany giving the impression of a side that wants his second goal at the moment. Hesler, support arriving on the left through Boda and Marcus Boda just dispossessed. Still tussling for it, asks for a corner kick. The decision is a goal. <laughs> Bit of everything there. Well, if that uh, had been played in a Bundesliga game, the crowd would have been horrified. Infield from Bud. He's forward again. Bush couldn't find him. Struts himself as he played the ball. But pink. Klinsmann's through on his left, Janker on his right. This is Janker, Klinsmann calling for it. It's coming at the uh, back of my Ziga. Christian Ziga, who plays in the English Premier League at Middlesbrough. There's uh, talk of Christian Carambeau from uh, Real Madrid joining them shortly. Touches inside the area. And a miss of the target again from Klinsmann. Well, it's just not happening, is it? Some of these games end up as sort of 6 5, 8 7. Uh, tonight it's 1 1, and Jurgen Klinsmann, with the whole net to go at, has steered it wide. But, uh, the director's only too happy to show us how, to, how he did it. Groans and grins. At the other end, we'll get a goal now. It's collected by Vessels. Germany and Bayern Munich then locked at 1 1 in the Lothar Matthias Invitational the farewell game. Invitations to Maradona and Klinsmann in particular. Well received. Ronaldo, of course, he was invited to play. He was in action for Brazil against England at Wembley Stadium tomorrow, so that's why he's not here. And David Beckham similarly on the opposite side. Burn work at the back from uh, Novotny there. Just to make sure Klinsman didn't get his goal that the crowd so much want to see. And once more, Scholl. Straight into a red and white shirt. Novotny may have to concede a throw in or a corner. Oh, just plays it off the legs of the opponent. It's Klinsman. Twelve minutes remaining in the game, of which we expect Lothar Matthias to play a full part for about another six minutes. That is all. And then he'll get the signal to come off, and there'll be a surprising substitution. the ball to go dead well, still the beat of the drum goes on but, uh, whereas we had two goals in the first half we haven't had any in the second half which is somewhat surprising and, uh, I can't even win a corner kick from that Nobody's too interested in the score, and I'm not too worried about that. I've just come to uh, pay tribute to a legend. We only get one Lothar Matthias in a lifetime, really. And uh, he will stand alongside the greats of German football. 
Uh, the Uwe Sailors and the Wolfgang Overath, Franz Beckenbauer's, Gerd Muller's. And here are Germany now looking for the lead. But they're going to have the ball. And Matthias, Matthias is the one who brought it out, actually, and then a neat little back heel from Klinsmann. I think. Matthias, here we go. He's up there for it. He's looking for it. He's through. This must be the moment for Lothar for Matthias. Oh, no! I don't believe it. He doesn't believe it. Everything went according to script until the last kick of the ball. <laughs> he weren't supposed to do that. Oh, dear, dear, dear. The whistling around the stadium is for the goalkeeper who came to, let's say, put Matthias off. Here it was, look. Here we go. Let him through the door. One more touch wide of the goalkeeper, and it's a goal. The referee's all ready to give it. Uh, the goalkeeper doesn't get his ankle in the way. <laughs> Uh, they're still booing, booing and whistling. All they want is a Lothar Mateus goal, then he can come off. Oh, dear. Who wrote the script? What have we got here? All happening out there, everything except goals. It'll be a corner kick. So they'll send the great man up for it, I've no doubt. Maybe if everybody runs away and lets him head the ball in. Well, number 10 is going to be substituted by number 10 shortly. One, one. I think the daughters have been summoned to uh, bring their dad off. Here we go. <laughs> it's still not right. And uh, no matter how hard they've tried to contrive a goal for him, on his last appearance here at the Olympic Stadium, Lothar Mateus says, enough's enough. And he takes his leave of the scene. He will shake hands with every player out there. And you are seeing the end of an era. A historic moment for one of the world greats. He has entertained for 20 years in the Bundesliga in European Championship Finals and in World Cup Finals. He has led his country to their greatest hour. But tonight, Lothar Matthias says, Arvida Zayn to the game. Just the Euro 2000 to come. But here in his homeland, they will never see him play again. Diego Maradona stands and applauds a great opponent. He's a great singer, but a great player. And that there can be no question. And for the last time, he comes off the Olympic station field. Handshakes along the line. Leppenberg too there for Pittsfield before that. From all the substitutes, Seth Meyer. Cherish for the family too. Well, the game will go on in a moment. He says thank you to his international coach, Rudy uh, Munison, of course, in uh, the European Championship finals. But everything has come to a standstill in the Olympic Stadium to salute the name and the number. Welcome, Mateus, number 10. Represented all that was great about German football. And I do believe he's gone down to the dressing room. He is not going to watch the final six minutes. And there's two daughters. Uh, going through into the Bayern Munich dressing room. Very unique scenes, these, of course. And... Uh, the rest of the team, Sally Midzic and Paolo Sergio, in there already. Congratulate him on a quite wonderful career. But maybe he will watch the final few minutes now with the rest of us on the television set.
Ja. Did they enjoy it, he says. Well, I'm sure they've enjoyed seeing it. Play, uh, some uh, children never see their parents play. It's a great place. It's a great shame that. You see them on video later in life. Is very proud of him, and on this night of all nights, they have seen uh, just what affection he is held in in Germany. Well, these are most okay. unusual shots. So. Well, the game, as you can see, is going on. It's, uh, the first getting changed, and uh, no doubt there'll be a reception for him later in the evening. Maybe they'll go and score a goal now that he's in the dressing room. Charlie? 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 As you can see in the bottom left of your screen, the match is continuing at Bayern Munich 1 at Germany 1. But we are seeing these unique shots of Lothar Matthäus. Hey, Lourdes, come. In his fine lower. Hey, what's the Danish Dalton Platz? <laughs> and the family is complete. His little son. Jetzt musst du nach New York kommen, wenn du den Papa sehen, huh? Okay? Zack? Zack? Well, the word was that uh, Matthias Jr. was going to go onto the field as a substitute, but I think he'd be a, a little too small to compete with these big fellas out there on the field, as we now do concentrate back on the match. And uh, that's all that could be left on the evening is for Jürgen Klinsmann to get that elusive goal, which would win the match for Bayern Munich. Thanks. Oh. He's got the uh, thank you, Luther Matthijs shirt on. And uh, I suspect that he will do a lap of honour at the end of the game. <laughs> Even though they've said their farewells once, I suspect he will... Uh, not be able to resist okay. one little run around the Olympic Stadium in front of everybody for a final salute. Hey, can you find the stadium? Back to the game. 1 1, Germany on the attack. Struntz, international player himself, heading away, laid back by Kirsten. Still no addition to the scoreline, and I suppose everybody would go away content if it remains at 1-1, honours even, honour for the club, honour for the country, and certainly honour for the man who has already won 146 caps for Germany. And that is the final whistle. Well, the scoreline was totally unimportant tonight. It was all about him, and I think there was a tear there in the dressing room for Lothar Matthäus. As he heard the whistle, the first tear trickled down the cheek. The great player Thomas Hassler there illuminated the occasion with a splendid goal in the first half in which Diego Maradona featured. Nice to see him in action again. The earlier goal had come from Kasten Janka. But uh, tonight has all been about saying farewell to Luther Matthäus and they've done that in style here in the Olympic Stadium in Germany. The players coming out wearing the number 10 shirt in the second half. Jürgen Klinsmann, a glimpse of another great player from uh, the same era, of course. And then Lothar Matthäus has uh, spanned three years, three decades, making his debut uh, 20 years ago for his national side. Well, I said earlier, you will never see the like of uh, Lothar Matthäus again. Bayern Munich are certainly missing him already. But they've said goodbye to him here in the Olympic Stadium. The score was 1-1 between Germany and Bayern Munich. But the Matthias can now go away to play his club football in America. And we'll look forward to the European Championships and hope to win them with Germany. <laughs>